your mind. Wow, Swicky. Anyway, what do you do when you're in trouble and when you're happy? Let's talk about that. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. It is 6.30. I think they're awake now. Do you know where your children are? Mine is babysitting in a house, and the other one's sleeping still. Hopefully. Because I just woke him up probably with my big mouth. <laughs> he got up really early last yesterday because he bought a Switch, and he wanted to play with it. Anyway. Like he's five years old. I love 17-year-olds. Yeah. He got a new toy. So, uh, when you're in trouble, or when you're happy, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy oh and gosh, rest. So um, what's the other one about trouble? What there's a kid song about trouble. No. Oh, there's a country song about trouble. It's all, every country song about. Trouble. No, that's true. If you play it backwards, you get your car back, you get your wife back, you get your. Oh you know. yeah, funny joke. So. Um, when you're in trouble, what do you do the first thing, Katie? Don't answer spiritually. Just okay. answer the first thing that you do when you're in trouble. Cry. She cries. She gets all these red splotches. And, I do. And she cries, and she gets, like, this high blood pressure, and then she, like, kind of faints because... Faint, well, if you do, your blood sugar changes and stuff. Yes, that's true. When I get in trouble, um, either A, I fight back, or B, I do the thing that it tells, it tells us in here. Um... And what do you do when... I also call my sisters. Oh, uh, that's true. She calls her sisters. I don't really have anybody to call. Anyway. Um, you call me, honey. That's true. Well, I guess I call Big Ed or Ed Cunningham or, or my brother. I don't know. Or Poppy. Poppy. Or Dean Neary. Shout out. He makes coffee. Get some coffee from Dean Neary. Wow, you have digressed. Um, so when you're in trouble... And when you're happy. So James is this book, really cool book. He keeps saying some of these directions. And if you really want uh, a book to like keep you in line with the Bible, keep you in line with Jesus' teachings, James is a good book to start with. It really comes out as, hey, this is how you live out your faith. But James chapter 5, verse 13 tells us, right off the bat, um, if anyone among you in, is in trouble... Get a gun. No, just kidding. If anyone among you is in trouble, let them pray. There have been many, many stories that I've seen on the internet, that I've experienced with other people, that that literally works. Like instead of arguing or, or you know, our human responses, our spiritual response should be, let's pray. Or pray on the scene. Or pray in your head as you're going through this trouble. Um, and it actually works. A lot of times, us humans, we like to do it on ourselves. Now, I'm not saying do nothing else about it. I'm just saying the first thing, the first priority should be praying about it. My challenge is for you to do that, okay? I'm not going to do a challenge at the end. I'm doing it now. Pray when you're in trouble. It actually works. And then do other things. But if you have God's direction first, then your wisdom will be godly instead of human response. And then he comes to the second part. He says, if anyone is happy. Now, this Katie does a lot. Uh -oh. And her students can attest to this. And See? her whole school can attest to this. If anyone is happy, let them sing songs uh, of praise. Uh, that is me. She sings about really? everything. Um, I love singing. Um, <laughs> I grew up in my elementary, middle school, and most of my high school as the worst singer ever. Like, I literally got kicked out of choir practice many times because I was horrible. <laughs> Make a joyful noise at Make a joy. Oh, it was a noise. And so um, I prayed a long time for actually to get a voice. Well, God had a different way, and he got me the guitar. And if I have a guitar, I'm on key, which is so weird because I was horrible playing instruments when I was growing up except for the piano. And so ever since I'd done that, when I was, I think, 18, I started playing guitar. And uh, I haven't stopped. Because if I, f I fear if I stop, I'll lose my singing voice and I'll lose my talent. So I try to do it all the time. But that makes me happy. If you see me on Sunday morning, the most enjoyment I have, and I do love preaching, I do love doing other things, but my most enjoyment 
is singing. Um, and then I get to do it two times a week, the well. Mm -hmm. And so um, I love this scripture because it, it's both extremes. If you're in trouble, pray. If you're happy, sing. sing. Pretty simple, right? But a lot of times we want to take it on our own burden, and I'm encouraging not to do that. Let God direct you in those things. I love you. Jesus loves you too. You have a good Friday. Friday. I'll see you Sunday morning, either at 11 o'clock on Facebook or in person, which we still have this goal of 100 people before December, the end of December. So come with a friend, come with your family, come with your enemies, come with your strangers. Um, we'll have 100 people. All right. Love you. Bye. <laughs> Eight minutes and five seconds. Six minutes and two seconds.